गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स योर वन ऑफ द ऑप्शनल पेपर इज डिफेंशियल ज्योमेट्री विच इज पेपर बी एम थ्री फिफ्टी फोर सो आई विल टीच यू दिस पेपर एंड द फर्स्ट टू सेक्शन ऑफ दिस पेपर दे यू कैन डू फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एडवांस कैलकुलस एंड द रिमेनिंग टू सेक्शंस यू कैन डू फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ डिफेंशियल ज्योमेट्री बाय प्रगति पब्लिकेशंस today we will discuss the basic concepts related to this paper this paper is differential geometry let us start with the basic concepts so first is what is geometry what is the meaning of geometry geo is a greek word in the greek geo means earth and metron that means measurement so what is geometry geometry is the branch of mathematics which deals with shapes and size of the objects in this branch of geometry we study about the shapes and the size of the objects now what is differential geometry differential geometry as it is clear from its name it consists of two words differential and geometry means the geometry which is studied with the help of differential calculus so this is a part of geometry in which we study the properties of geometrical objects geometrical objects like curves surfaces with the help of differential calculus so this branch of geometry is called differential geometry next is what is locus of a point locus means the path traced by the object when it moves that is called locus of the point next is what is parameter parameter is a quantity which acts as a constant as well as variable according to its applications sometimes it acts as a constant and sometimes as variable that depends upon its applications let us see by an example uh suppose we have the family of concentric circles concentric circles means which have the same center uh the equation of the family of circles is given by x square plus y square is equal to a square here this a is called parameter if we give different values to this parameter a we get the different members of this family for example if we take a is equal to 2 then we get x square plus y square is equal to 2 square that will be 4 to so x square plus y square is equal to 4 that will be one member of this family of circles here a parameter this is called the radius of the circle now the next definition is curve so in the first chapter of differential geometry we will discuss curves curves in space so curve in space consists of two words curve and the space so what is curve curve is the locus of a point whose position vector with respect to a fixed point which is called origin can be expressed as the function of single parameter here we have taken this curve we have a point p the locus of this point is this curve here the point p have the coordinates x y z so this x y z these are the functions of a single parameter and that single parameter we have taken here as in a vector form the position vector of point p we can write vector r vector r which is a function of parameter s thus we can say that a curve is the locus of a point whose position vector is a function of single parameter so this is curve or generally uh, we have another definition also of the curve what is curve curve is an object which is similar to line but need not be straight for example you can see here this is a parabola this is a curve this is similar to a line but this is not a line so we can say this is a, an example of curve next what is curve in parametric form in general the equation of curve in parametric form if we have a point on the curve having the coordinates x y z if x is the function of t we have denoted here f1 t y 
is also the function of parameter t we have denoted it f to t and z is also the function of parameter t and here it is denoted by f3t so if x y z these are the functions of t so these three equations where f1 f2 f3 are the functions of parameter t these equations gives the equation of curve in parametric form let us see by an example for example if you are to write the parametric equations of circle so the parametric equation circle are given by x is equal to a cos theta y is equal to a sin theta here this theta is a parameter generally we can write the equation of curve in the vector form r is equal to x i plus y j plus z k here x y and z are the functions of the parameter t now the last concept is what is tangent to the curve let us take a curve c and p is a point on this curve we are to define the tangent at the point p to this curve in order to define the tangent to this curve let us take another point q on this curve now let us join p to q this is called pq but we can see that as the point q approaches to p this curve will be having a limiting position this position and this is called tangent to the curve at the point p thus we can say that the tangent to the curve c at the point p is the limiting position of this line as the point q approaches to the point p along the curve c